the harsh realities of moving to Idaho. Here we go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Rebecca. I'm a realtor based here in Southeastern Idaho and I make videos every single week talking about pretty much just all things life in Idaho, things to do here, tips for buying or selling here, um, my favorite parts of living here and also kind of just life as a wife and a mom and a realtor and a business owner um, because things get a little crazy around here sometimes. But in today's video, I want to address something that I feel like I've been getting a lot of comments about lately and I've been talking to a lot of people about and that is kind of just the harsh realities of living in Idaho, um, southeastern Idaho specifically because obviously that's where I live. Um, there are a lot of people moving here right now and I feel like depending on who you ask, that's either a good or a bad thing, sometimes both. Um, but I'm also working with a lot of people from out of state um, and I talk to a lot of people from out of state that are interested in moving here. So I'm just gonna put it all out there and tell you what's hard about living here, things that you probably need to accept if you're gonna be moving here. And yeah, let's jump on in. So the number one thing that I'm gonna say is something that's probably not gonna surprise you if you know anything about Idaho, but it's that people here are conservative. We love God, we love guns, we love our freedoms, um, and that's kind of just how it is here. And I know a lot of people are moving here because they love those things and they want to get away from wherever they're living that maybe doesn't match that, and I think that's great. Um, a major concern about so many people moving here from the people that live here is just that people are gonna move here and try to change those things. Um, Idaho people are not the kind of people that want their values messed with. They want to just be left alone and to be left to just live how they want and to have the values that they want and that's pretty much how everyone is, is here. Um, so if that's a concern to you, or maybe if you don't align with those values as much, you might want to rethink about possibly moving here because you, for one, you're probably just not going to, going to enjoy living here too much because everyone feels like that. Um, and also a lot of people here don't take too kindly to not people that don't agree with them. It's just people that want to move here and change those things. So if that's something that you are passionate about or you feel strongly about, um, that you don't agree with, maybe rethink moving here. Number two is faith, religion. Um, like I said, God is a huge part of our culture here in Idaho, especially in Southeastern Idaho um, and pretty much all over the state, I would say. But again, um, not only is that just value-wise a huge thing to people here, but it kind of is a big thing in our lifestyle as well. Um, even small things like things being closed on Sundays, um, people, you know, staying home to just rest and spend time with their families on Sundays. Things like that are a really big thing here. Um, faith is definitely not something that people shy away from here. Um, so if that's something that's, I don't want to say that if it's not important to you that you won't be welcome here because obviously there's people here that, you know, aren't religious or whatever. It's not like a hundred percent of the population is like that, but just that is a really big part of our culture here and that's something that's really important to people in Idaho. Um, so if that's something that you don't like um, or that you wanna change, again, maybe rethink coming here because that is not something that people here are really willing to compromise on. Okay, the winters, changing it up a little bit, a little bit lighter topic. Um, winters here are pretty harsh, I'm just gonna say that. Um, if you're coming here from a more mild climate um, that has maybe warmer weather most of the time, just know winters here are long. They're definitely they are definitely cold. We definitely get snow. Um, here it is April. We got a snowstorm last week, um, and it's been like back into the 40s the last week. So it's not completely spring here yet and we're mid-April right now. Um, so winter is long. It can be very cold. It can be harsh. Um, just make sure you're prepared for that if you're going to be moving here. I will say an upside to that is that we have a lot of winter activities. Um, I feel like people try to make the most of it because it's just the reality here. We have to deal with the winters, but there is a ton of winter activities around here. Um, there's skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, sledding, ice fishing, um, snowmobiling, everything like that. Um, so there are a lot of ways to make it fun and take advantage of it, but 
just know that we definitely, definitely get winters here. Um, on the upside, we get all four seasons. We have gorgeous summer, so it's not all bad, but just be prepared for a cold, long winter if you're gonna be moving here. Fourth thing I would say is that there aren't as many job opportunities here. Um, Idaho Falls and Southeastern Idaho and Idaho in general are definitely growing. Um, and I feel like that's bringing a lot of new jobs to the area, but at the same time, if you're coming from a big city, um, even somewhere like Salt Lake or of course LA, um, Seattle, any of those places, there is definitely a lot more of a diverse um, job industry opportunities there. Um, it's not like Idaho Falls or Southeastern Idaho is really like a big tech city or anything like that. Um, our main industry is of course agriculture. There's a lot of healthcare jobs. Um, and then also like blue collar manufacturing jobs, things like that are really big here. Not to say that there's not other types of jobs. It's just not a huge city with a ton of job opportunities like some people may be used to. So that's definitely something to think about before you come here. Um, if you have an opportunity to work from home, maybe with a remote job or your own business, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, just keep that in mind and do some research before you come here because there isn't as many job opportunities available as there is in other big cities in this area. And number five, I would say is just kind of a lack of nightlife, um, a lack of things to do in that regard. Um, Southeastern Idaho has a ton of things to do. We're very outdoorsy. There's always things to do like that. But if you're someone that enjoys going to concerts or maybe going to clubs or things like that, that's not really something that's here. Um, there is of course Salt Lake and Boise fairly close that have those sorts of things. Um, and there are bars and things like that downtown. It's just not a huge city, you know, built around those kinds of things. So if that's something that's important to you and you do that a lot, maybe think about that before considering moving here because to do those things, kinds of things, you're gonna have to travel for it. Um, and there's just not a ton of that stuff here. So something to keep in mind. So that's it for today, guys. I hope that was helpful and just gave you some more insight on the realities of living here and some potential downsides to coming here depending on your mindset around those things. Um, if you have any questions on any of this, I am always open and happy to help as much as I can. So feel free to drop questions or comments below, um, send me an email or connect with me on social media and I would love to help you out however I can. But until my next video, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.